Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and I wanted to take it back old school where I started modding and I thought this could be a really cool concept of maybe a series that I could create where I show what I was learning, you know, way back in like, oh my God, my first computer I think I got in 1999. Um, I... I'm so old. Oh no. Anyway, so one of the first games I ever owned was Hot Rod Garage to Glory, which you are looking at on the screen right now. It's a little bit buggy on Windows 11. Like you can see the mouse just doesn't work. But you can like spin the car around. You can do some stuff. It's not bad for, you know, even 2023 terms, like I would see, I would expect something like this on the Steam store from like a single person developer. But I wanted to take a step back in time, show you guys where I started and like the road trip of me and my thought process when I was younger to now of how I got from, you know, hacking basic games to learning C Sharp and making programs to make my daily job easier. So I figured what better thing to start with than the very first game I ever hacked and modded, and that was Hot Rod Garage to Glory. I've always been a tinker. I've always been a poker. I've always been the type that I'm going to open up the files and I'm going to see if I can tinker with it. And even way back then, if I saw a file and I thought, huh, what can I do with that? And I saw like, oh, here's manual.pdf. Do I have a PDF reader on my computer now that I think about it? <laughs> oh, I do. Good. Okay. Um, as you can see here, system requirements for Hot Rod Garage to Glory. Ah, uh, there's the controls. I could have used that about 14 seconds ago when I was testing the game. The game is very well thought out, and I might actually take some ideas from this for other stuff, but... It's a very well thought out game. It's a very fun game, in all honesty. I do very much enjoy it, even to this day. I don't know why there's two. It doesn't make any sense that there's two and they're both the same. But let's look through this and we'll figure out how to mess with it. Very similar concept to like messing with Midnight Club in my other series. So first thing you want to do is obviously install the game. And you'll see there's, it's going to be kind of like a file discovery video like I used to do. Let's go straight into it. Let's look at the cars. So car 01, what is it? It's a 32 coupe. Let's find the car that I'm messing with, the 95, uh, 95 coupe here, 55 wagon. Looks like they're kind of in a numerical order. Wow, there's 40 cars in this game. I had no idea. Okay, I apparently overestimated. 97 coupe, 95. Oh, so close. 03 hatch. Okay, so there's more cars in this game than I thought there were. 95 coupe, there it is. Coupe decal mod, cool. So one cool thing about this game is it gives you PNG and PSD files for the actual cars. Okay, there's nothing there. <laughs> it's a red box. Cool. Picture viewer? Is it going to show it? What in the world is picture viewer? No. Oh, it literally shows you the... Okay, this is not this car. I don't think. See what I... Uh, the mouse is so buggy. What is wrong with the mouse? I wonder if it doesn't like the DPI of a newer mouse. Anyway. No, this is a Toyota Supra. Wrong coupe. <laughs> wrong coupe. There should be another 95 coupe then. There it is. Here, this should be correct. Oh, my Lanta. I gotta open it this way. No. Oh my god, that's an RX-7. Wow, there's some cool stuff in this game. Okay, we'll try this one. Don't ask this again. Integra GSR, there it is. So, what can we do with this stuff? I mean, everything is here. Like, what's RWS? RWS is probably the 3D model. Oh, actually, it's kind of a stupid question to ask that. 
definitely the 3D model, but I've never seen that file type before. So it's got to be proprietary. And I don't know of anybody that's actually made custom 3D models for RWS files. So I'm not expecting to be able to do custom cars, but it could just be some off the shelf, you know, file extension change too. But anyway, you know, you have cleaned up, you have some side decals and stuff. That's sick. Uh, car icons for the graphics. Now, import and name. Name, 95 coupe. Let's do 95 Integra. Now, the game does allow you to actually name your vehicle when you buy a vehicle. So that's kind of pointless. The import has zero stuff in it. But yeah, so there, you know, you can come in here, you can kind of mess with stuff. The whole game is basically text file based. Like here's name, 93 coupe. You know, you can mess with all these icons and stuff if you want. But that's not where the fun stuff is. If we go CFG, you can see names and game settings. Game settings is just like screen resolution and stuff. Decal modding, it actually gives you to a tutorial on how to properly mod the files and make your own stuff. It's not 3D models, but it's the next best thing of like doing custom graphics and stuff like that. They give you a whole Photoshop class in here. That's freaking sweet. Fonts, I love messing with fonts, but I can't use any of these. They're BMP files, bitmap font files. That's interesting. Images, ah, uh, ooh. I wonder if I can steal anything from this. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> that's the sprite sheet. That's really cool. I like that. Input. Ah, your uh, keyboard inputs and stuff. Okay. That's pretty cool. Dude, there's racing wheel stuff in here. That's actually sick. Levels. Ah, the racetracks. RWS files. Can't mess with those. We already know. Menus. CGM. What is a CGM file? Best way to know... You just open it in a hex editor or notepad. Look at that. I told you. Just open it in a, in a text file or some shit. So you can see this is all this kind of stuff. You can figure out what all this kind of does by kind of trying to look at it. Or you can also... There's a lot of cool things here. There's body. There's career mode. Ref is probably just a reference text file. Yes, it is. That's cool. I'm sure you can actually... No, this is just all textures. Bar select, just textures and menus and stuff. That's not really important. Different wheel rims and tires and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Parts. This is where it's going to be fun because you can actually... I've done a video on this years ago. Years and years and years ago. Of actually editing these files, these INIs. You can actually add your own custom parts. So, like, I can take this entire thing right here. Two. Pro mod air filter. I don't know. Cost will be 69. ACV, I don't know what this does. We'll do 20. Respect is one. Install time, it actually gives you install time. That's pretty cool. Menu image, you can actually do custom images for them. Huh. Oh, air filter level two. Okay. Speed that it provides. So this will be like 0.7. HP that it provides. Let's go like 0.01. Doesn't change anything about wheel, clutch, or anything like that. But you just hit save. Let's relaunch the game. And you'll see that I now have a custom air filter. If it... uh. God, the mouse is so messed up. It's like the more that's on screen, the more messed up it is. Oh, it didn't save. Well, I guess that's another good... Ah, let's get the hatch. They call it junk. Let's look for another car. Junk. Damaged. Junk. It's really cool to look at this game and kind of browse around these cars. Damaged. That's sick. Here's a Firebird, I guess. We'll go back to the Civic. Why not? Are you sure you want to buy this car? Why can't I... It's 
switch over to yes yeah so you can name the car as well if you want but we're going to hit done and i'll show you that we added a new custom air filter air filter uh oh do i have to, i have to go to the store so air filter you basically just click on the item and then you can scroll through to pro mod air filter you can add your own custom parts i feel like it'd be so much fun to just make a full mod of this game where there's just maybe a dozen parts for each level it'd be so much fun to mess with in this game but we can go buy and the other funny thing about this too is you can actually make these negative so you can get like unlimited money if you want and stuff like that but now we have to go install it now we go oh my god the mouse man elf want to install there we go and then i can sell the stock one go back to the garage i can go back here i can go next this is so bad why is this so terrible let's do here we'll do practice next i like left lane i always will keep tweaks oh yeah it saves your tune so we're gonna do our burnout which i'll show you in a minute you can even edit the tire smoke and stuff like that Ooh. So I did my full burnout. All right, let's uh, shift into first here. Move up to the light. Now, the one thing that sucks about this game is you can foul before the race even begins. They took a lazy way out with the programming of the game where if you go past the laser beam when staging at all, you go past it at all, you are in trouble. You can't stage. It considers it a foul, et cetera, et cetera. It kind of sucks. The controls for this game I also don't really like either. I feel like... Is that a giant cow? But it should be like arrow keys for shifting. But right now it's E for shift up. I don't know. It's weird. So we're going to hit the brakes. I win. Yay, did a time of 23. <laughs> but yeah, no, there's a lot of fun to be had in this game, especially with modding it. I would love to figure out the car models and stuff like that because I feel like it'd be so much fun to inject cars. I really want to know if we can make a custom car. So like if I just... 41. I bet this works. And then we just go to name. And we do... 69 custom and it should look like whatever this thing is come on open up now the hard thing about this ah to dodge neon the hard thing about this is 41 cars i don't know if it's gonna let me find everything but like here's the boost files and stuff like that you can like you can edit so much stuff in here. This is the particle lifespan for like boost and here's burnout. So you can do more dust. You can change the color. Here's the breakdown. You know what I think would be really cool to create for this game if we could fix the mouse issues. Um, something really cool for this game would be something along the lines of, oh, would be something along the lines of a randomizer. Would be a ton of fun for this. Ah, uh, you can't edit the game save. That's the one thing you can't open in a text file. <laughs> That's really funny. But yeah, so there, there's a lot you can do, and I don't know if we can... What's quick race do? Oh, it just throws me into a race. Okay. Um, Is there way, a way to see every single car? I don't think there is. I basically just have to... 69 it'd be 69 custom if we see the car that i added 
well, quote unquote added. I'm pretty sure it works. Um, I think you can just keep going in and out and it changes what cars are here. Oh, there's the RX-7. That's sick. So if we just keep going in and out, eventually we would come across 69 Custom. So far we have not. I might pause for a moment. See if I can come across it. Subaru. This game has so many cool cars in it. Let me pause the recording real quick and I'll come back when I find it to make sure that it works. But I'm going to give this a good like dozen tries. Yep, I was right. You can have an unlimited number of cars. So if we can figure out the 3D models, we could make custom cars for this game. There's 69 custom. And the way I know that it finally popped up is because I made freaking 15 of them. I got sick of sitting here refreshing the car lot for only one car, so I made 15 of them. <laughs> but yeah, there's the uh, that's one of the custom cars I made. So if we can figure out the 3D model files, these RWS files, we would be able to easily import custom cars to this game. I don't know enough about 3D modeling, so it'd be cool if somebody chimed in that does, and we could potentially make a custom model. I just... I don't know where to even start with 3D modeling. I don't know what this is. I don't know how to read the headers. I don't... I wonder if there's a tool online that can convert it or something. Give me one sec. Well, I did a little bit of research. Apparently, it was a 3D modeling software called Rhino something or other. I can't find anything public on the actual tool, but I'm sure there's somebody that could probably figure something out. But I just wanted to show off kind of where I started with modding and go from there. So maybe the next video we'll get into something like Adobe Flash hacking. And then after that, we'll get into maybe Unity 3D or Combat Arms or... No, I shouldn't do anything Combat Arms. We'll do Nolf or something like that. We'll do No One Lives Forever. I don't freaking know. But anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys later. This is kind of just where I started, and I thought it would be fun to make these videos. Maybe I'll do some stuff on programming as well, where I started with, like, batch file and QBasic and stuff like that, you know, making uh, visual studio scripts and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.